Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. It's going to be part of a three or more part series. Let me know how many tutorials you want on this. But we're going to have one on how to download and install aircraft, third party aircraft that do not come with X-Plane. And then one on how to download and install scenery and then one on the plugins. So this will work for all types of aircraft, everything from the Supermod to this. For any version of X-Plane, this will work for any version unless they've drastically changed it, X-Plane 13 or X-Plane 14 etc. In our example today we're going to download this excellent one of the best freeware planes Aerobask Robin which was their first plane that they kind of experimented and as you can see there is an X-Plane 12 version now available so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this for X-Plane 12 but this will work for any recent version of X-Plane. To download from this website called forums.xplane I will put a link to it in the video description but a link to this file as well so you can follow along. You've got to create an account so I think you create it somewhere up here or say sign up and then this button will appear. So what we're going to do we're going to press download this file and if you look very closely at the file name it'll say X-Plane 12. This will probably be the same for most aircraft say X-Plane 12 version or the X-Plane 11 version and just download whichever one you want for your simulator if you have X-Plane 11 obviously download that version if you have X-Plane 12 download that version are we going to click download I've set Chrome to choose where to download it so it will download it to your downloads folder but it depends where you have chosen let's download it to click save and if you look very closely here we are now downloading wait for it to finish downloading well we finished downloading so what we're going to click open this bring this over here so you guys can see it we're, going, we're just going to click extract this will of course work for the mac os and linux it's the same process just sort of looks slightly different I'm going to open it and so how explain does work is well how zipping files sorry do work is that it will put in a subfolder it will put in something like this or the creators were like this has all been renamed by Aerobask themselves so make sure you go inside the initial folder and occasionally it won't have a subfolder but most of the time it will 90% of the time for all any plugins any scenery any aircraft downloads it will have a subfolder you want if you open up the folders like this, you'll see airfoils, airfoils, manuals, you know, objects, plugins, etc. Just the file above that, if you go back there, just the folder, that's what we want. Robin DR401. We're just gonna cut it here. I'm just gonna press Ctrl and X, or you can right click and then it'll be here. But we are grayed out there. So we're just gonna find where we have installed X Plane. Head it inside where it says aircraft. So it would go X plane, version number, and then aircraft. And then this is a folder that I have just created. But all it needs to be, it just needs to be in this folder here, just inside aircraft. This is where the laminar research stuff is. So you can see the Cessna citation X is here. We're going to go back here. I would recommend creating a folder like that. It can be anything you want. But I'm going to go inside the folder. This is everything that I have downloaded going to press Control and V or you can right click of course not if you're on Mac sorry guys um, and look it has added it to our collection there and now you can just open X-Plane and now if you have a look in your flight configuration window having pressed new flight of course there we're just going to load into Melbourne Morabin so if you scroll down here you can see this is our aircraft lots of aircraft it will say x-plane 11 or x-plane 12 versions it will say in the title for example felix has put it in the title x-plane 12 and then this must be the x-plane 11 version and to make sure you are loading the right version for example tolis have done the same where they will be supporting x-plane 11 whilst x-plane 12 does it and you can see flight factor as well so make sure you are loading the right aircraft because your numbers will be completely wrong what we're going to do we're just going to load in and look, bing bang caboodle, we have loaded in to our aircraft that we have downloaded. Okay, the lovely sounds from Explains part there. Well, congratulations, you have installed and downloaded your Explains third party aircraft. It's as simple as that, so you can repeat this for any aircraft you want there in the Explain environment. Thanks for watching everyone. If you did find this video useful, please do like the video and do subscribe as well. Thanks for watching.